The dollar's fall has been one of the main market stories of 2018. It is the scale of the decline that initially caught investors off guard, dropping by 4% against the euro, although its big recovery in the second quarter of the year has equally taken the market by surprise. Even so, market commentators are talking about this being a downward phase long term for the greenback. A weak dollar should prove beneficial to American companies that sell goods abroad, while US stocks in general should look attractive to overseas investors. Dollar weakness was helping commodities, which are priced in dollars, and it was helping to tame inflation in emerging markets and make their assets a better opportunity for investors. But given the dollar's recent rally, how sure can investors be about these long-term outcomes? Well, that depends on the reasons for the dollar's decline. If it returns to a downward trend, and does so because of rising global growth, and expectations of monetary tightening in Europe and Japan, then that is a favorable climate for investors. But if it falls because of US protectionist rhetoric and trade tariffs, then that could stifle world trade. And if it is to do with the US twin deficit, then that could awaken worries about the US economy. For the time being, the US economy is powering along, making the Federal Reserve inclined to raise rates. Indeed, investors could be excused for wondering whether the dollar continues to rally. Despite the dollar's volatility in 2018, the chances are that the greenback will be ending the year weaker than it began. Dollar bear markets over the last 45 years tend to go on for about seven years. So based on the law of averages, there would be some way to go.